Kenny Hoare Gardening Simplified. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about uh, hilling up potatoes. So let's take a look. Now I don't know if my mic's picking up a bunch of tractor noise, but we're out here at the uh, number two garden, whole garden plot. We're going to have to give a name to it. Maybe y'all uh, have a good name. But anyway, uh, what we're doing is first we we're making sure there's no potato bugs on these potatoes. Uh, we've been picking them off and smashing them. Today we got our, out the trusty uh, rechargeable car vac, so we just figured we'd suck them up, let them in there overnight, and then feed them to the chickens. But reason why, now I would like to let these go just a little longer. The weeds aren't all that bad. It's, it does have small weeds in here but the problem if I wait too long is the height of the tractor uh, if they get real tall then it's going to start doing some damage as it pushes over them because this isn't an over roll tractor this is just your standard compact and anyway what we're going to do first we're going to take and fertilize these now what I'm using, or going to be using, is a uh, Medina. This is a growing green. It's organic fertilizer. It's just a 323. Now, I do put this kind of heavy. Uh, they're still in the growing phase. They're going to need to have nitrogen, get those leaves pushed off. Uh, and it could use a little more phosphorus, but I don't think I've got any kind of a deficiency so we're just going to go with that and while we're over here we can see our carrots are seemingly outrunning the weed so we'll do a little bit of weeding on the bigger ones but it looks like they might go ahead and, and grab a hole but let me get some of this fertilizer okay i'm just going down fertilizing uh with this now if you get a little bit of this on the leaves don't worry about it organic fertilizer isn't like uh your uh, chemical fertilizers. In fact, it's more like your slow release fertilizers. You might get a little bit of kick of nitrogen right off, but it, it takes just a little bit for your microbes to break it down. Uh, it always does better if it's put down underground, under the ground. Now, I'll normally I'll take about a bucket of fertilizer, I'll do both sides, but it'd be about a bucket of fertilizer uh, to do one 100 foot row. So uh, it is going on kind of heavy, but being it's uh, the uh, NPK ratio is lower on this, it's, it's definitely, uh, you're not putting out a heavy fertilizer. And you don't have a lot of problems that you do with your chemical fertilizers, like I say, burn the leaves. But also while we're coming down here, uh, my wife, she'll, she'll spot whatever egg she can uh, find because the potato beetle's been out here. Uh, we've done, like I say, we've been watching them. The best way is to catch them when they're uh, not very many. The chances is we're not going to get them all. We're going to end up with uh them coming in but if we can put that off as long as we can then that's going to be the the best thing for our potatoes also when we come down here uh we're just starting to pop out a lot of the the flower heads and whenever they start coming out uh we like to take them off i don't know how much of a difference it makes but as far as uh it's supposed to keep the plant from putting the energy forward to the the uh, and I don't like that leaf we'll get rid of it but it, it makes directs them to put more energy towards their uh, potato formation instead of uh, making seed because we don't plant potato seed uh, chances are most of you didn't plant potato seed and uh, so we're not going to collect him. But anyway, 
we'll get this fertilizer out and then we'll get down here and, and start uh, healing these up. I ended up having a mic failure in the middle of filming this, so we're just going to narrate on through. Now, this is the healing attachment here. And uh, what we've done is we have adjusted it about five inches wider and turned the discs in a little bit steeper. So you can see that we have went uh, where that mark is there, about five inches out. It gets a, an extra 10 inches of width. And the intent is to uh, pile dirt against the side of the already healed area. That way, if potatoes start forming, then especially if they're large and start pushing out, it's going to uh, take and fix that up. We've also lowered the disc as low as they'll go. Uh, that way, uh, it's going to pull as much dirt as we can across uh, against the plants. The healing attachment isn't something that you necessarily need to grow potatoes. It's just something, and we added it this year, this attachment, uh, to make our lives a whole lot easier because we do grow quite a few more potatoes than uh, your average um, home gardener. And uh, we wanted to make our lives uh, quite a bit easier. Now that we've got it all set up, uh, what we'll do is we're going to go down this row. And you can kind of see uh, it is brushing the top of the uh, potatoes, but they're not big enough now that it really causes a problem uh, as far as to do damage. You might damage a few of them, but not many. But this was the reason why we wanted to go ahead and uh, heal these up again now before they got much bigger because they grow fast this, within uh, the last update. And now you can see how much these potatoes have grown. And so we'd go ahead and uh, do our fertilizing, uh, do our healing, and then we're going to be done uh, with this for a while. We won't be uh, coming back and, and healing up again. Now, if we had a, a over row tractor or something that had a lot more clearance, under the bottom then we might do that but that's as simple as it is and you can see how this works and you can see how much uh this does uh, save and there you go there this job is done uh i may have to come down here maybe one time and uh till the center of the rows if the grass starts to get bad um, but other than that this is uh it for the potatoes till they uh, end up getting ready for harvest, which would probably be around the end of May. So, uh, anyway, that's not that far away. But some of you may ask, why go through all that work uh, to raise potatoes? You know, you can go to the store and you can buy these things for like, uh, you know, five, seven bucks for. 20 pounds of potatoes or 10 pounds of potatoes. But the whole idea of growing your own food has to do with uh, the quality of the food. Now, yes, these potatoes, a lot of them are the same varieties that you might get in the store. Now, I don't grow any russets. Russets, if you do the research on them, uh, the starches and all that, they're not good for you. They do grow a lot of potatoes under the plants. Uh, that's those ones that you buy real cheap in the store, and that's the reason they are cheap. They do produce a lot of potatoes, but like I say, they're not healthy. And another reason to grow your own potatoes is there are so many varieties that you don't have access to in the store that are really tasty. Now, I've grown some, uh, but I kind of stick with uh, some of the regular ones, you know, the uh, Yukon Gold, which everybody knows. Uh, a lot of your red potatoes now i grow the uh, red pontiacs now some some might grow uh the lawson i think it's lawson uh reds which are kind of similar and i grow the kennebec the kennebec is uh seems to be like a good potato for uh if you're going to roast or or you're going to make fries or something like that uh that's a good potato and now when people start thinking about fries, don't think that 
you're doing good to grow and then you're going to be uh, frying them up in seed oil. Now we went to uh, using beef tallow, which beef tallow is a, a real good uh, uh, fat to be frying in. It's, it's healthy and we won't get into all that. But anyway, when I say grow your own uh, potatoes and I show you how to grow them, and don't think there's no work involved. Now, mine is getting pretty lazy this year because I've, you know, spent the money on some equipment. And I grow quite a bit more than most people would grow. But know that you're, the reason you're doing this is because you're wanting to eat healthier. You're wanting to be more self-sufficient. Uh, you, you know, we don't know what's going into the food. I don't spray anything on mine. Uh, but I can guarantee you that you won't find a potato in the store. Well, it might be an organic one, but they probably sprayed something on it. And whether it's organic, uh, pesticide or whatever, I, you know, if I don't have to use it, I won't. And uh, you have that choice. You can take a little extra work and do like us, pick your bugs off, pick your eggs off, and go from there. But anyway, what I want you to do is uh, don't, don't, uh, fight against that you got to do some work enjoy the work and that's what i always say uh, enjoy that gardening experience